Hello everybody! Welcome back again to the Southampton career mode. This episode is gonna be tasty. We have our first Champions League game. We have got our grudge match with Liverpool, who we just didn't manage to have any success against last season. And then we also have Manchester City at home. Huge tests left, right and centre for us. Even though we did smash Schalke 7-1 in the pre-season tournament. But this one, you know, Liverpool, they take all of our players. They beat us at home. They tried to take our captain Van Dijk. They are scum. They've also signed Rafinha. And I think after the Arsenal match in the Community Shield, I think this is the biggest test for us this new season. We are going with Snabry up front. We're going with Tanich at number 10. Ward Prowse and Bran go on the wings. Wings. <laughs> Romeo and Goretzka in the midfield. Goretzka's power in that midfield is going to be a game changer for us against Liverpool. The usual defence comes out, which hasn't been a good defence at all yet this season. Van Dijk is rated 86 now. De Vries rated 85, but we have not seen that 85 rated player come out in the last few games. He's just really not turned up. Lafont is in goal now, 81 rated. The team is looking solid. It just needs to gel. Here we are back at Anfield. We had a, a bitter draw last season at this place. We conceded a late, late equaliser and it, we really deserve to win the game. So we're here to get that result we wanted. They go with play up front again and he caused us so many problems. Van Dijk basically decided not to mark him for the whole time last game. Coutinho and Marnie on the wings with Wijnaldum. Chivarella, no idea who that is. Lalana in midfield. Clavan Manolas. Oh my God, they've actually signed a centre half. All right, boys, come on. Let's get the result we deserved last time. Here's Mane. Mane flying down the wing. Oh, God, I can't cut back fast enough. Go on, Romeo, tackle him. Lafont saves. Here goes Romeo. Up into Sanabria. Sanabria dinks the ball over for Brand. That's a beautiful ball. Can Brand shifts it into the middle to Tadic. Goal! Tadic scores away at Liverpool. We take the lead again, just like last season. Great to see Tadic still on a fiery form. Bran is a good ball into him and Tadic puts his foot through it into the corner. Mignolet, no chance. To be fair, Mignolet's got pretty much no chance with pretty much every shot that goes at him. But great finish from Tadic. It's Coutinho. Cuts it. Oh, shit. He's just walked past Van Dijk. Good block from De Vrij. That's better. De Vrij covering for your man. That's what we want to see. Here he goes. Plea. Van Dijk to deal with him again. Ball smashed into the middle. Alana skips around one challenge. Hits the shot. And it's gone in. Goal line technology if It didn't go all the way over. Please. Again, Liverpool get that goal to equalise. Play on the wing. Smashes it into Lallana who skips past Romeo and manages to finesse the shot high into the crossbar off the side netting. And it somehow goes in. God damn it. Right, I'm getting Cliver on on the right-hand side. Uh, I've just not managed to do anything with Ward Prowse. We need a bit more penetration. Romeo up to Baran. Here's Tadic, Tadic, go on, drive, drive Tadic, hit that shot, hits the shot, gets taken out, but it doesn't matter because he's backed the brace and he's scored another. Brilliant from Tadic. He's been sensational for us this season. Great move from Tadic, just drives inside of Lalana. I think it's Lalana that he goes past and puts it into the far corner. It is Lalana. look, he kicks it straight through him and he doesn't even get to see it go in himself because he's flying towards the floor. Great stuff, my son, he's on great form again. Goretzka lays it off for Clive to drive at the Liverpool defence now. And he skips past one. Sees a pass open up for Tadic. Could Tadic be on for his hat-trick here? He skips inside and Manolas hits the shot. Oh, and it deflects off the defender. Double save from Mignolet. Keeps them in the game. But Tadic again into Brown. Hits the volley. Oh dear, have taken out a ball boy instead of scoring. We're going to bring Lamina on in the midfield to tighten up the midfield. Move Goretzka to number 10. And King's going to come on up front for some counter-attacking pace now. Cedric. Pings it high for Bran, who will head it and no one can get near it. What are you doing? Good tackle from Lamina in to Goretzka, who's going to line up the strike. Oh, it was in, Ref, I swear. It's gone through the net. Hugo Mallo coming forward now. Cedric, you got to win that ball. De Vries gets there. Lafont, can you get there? God damn it. Corner ball to Liverpool. The goalkeeper has come up for this. Mignolet is in the box. We must defend. Away, lads. Away. Oh, it's not away. Oh, Goretzka, you legend. Goretzka gets the foot away and King to drive now. Come on, King. Can he get it on target? Oh, fuck off, Lalani, you scum. Here's Salah. Salah drives it across the middle to free. That's a really important clearance. And again, bloody Mignolet comes up because King couldn't get the bloody shot on target. Oh, wait. Oh, my. 
Get it away, Jesus Christ. Hugo Mallow. Man last. Ref, time's up. Ref, time. Oh my God, they've got it in the box to Salah. Who gives it into Hugo Mallow. How much time are we playing, ref? Finally, the ref blows the whistle. Scumbag. We've done it. We've got that away win at Liverpool. Really tough game. They came at us again. I was really nervous that they were going to score. But that man Tadic bags a brace. And he is the man who gets us over the line in this game. Three points. Well, it does. It feels good to out-muscle Liverpool. To know that in summer we have strengthened. And we have made ourselves a better side. A side that can go on to beat them now. The defence held. A training session in here. What are we doing? Tammy Ibrahim goes up to 78 rated. That's lovely. His dribbling needs a lot of work. But he's becoming a lot better player. His finishing's nearing 80. Good stuff. Okay, away in Germany. I didn't even look at our Champions League group, but here it is, lads. We have got Real Madrid in it. Jesus Christ, we will be trying to battle against probably the best team in Europe. Oh my God. Schalke and Benfica, we will look to probably go through second in this competition. It's going to be a big ass to get to the semi-finals going down that route. But Schalke away, we will have to do a lot with the squad, even though we did smash them in pre-season. Everyone plays poorly pre-season. Okay, to ensure that we can rest a few players, because remember we have City in just two days after this game. We go with Tammy Abraham up front, Amiri comes in at number 10. Chiesa and Bufalo on the wings with Nagy and Gretzka in midfield. Hood and Target come into the defence. Gretzka is going to take the armband for this game. A captain, a natural born leader, and it's against his former side. Well, here we are. A nice away trip to Germany in the Champions League. First taste of Champions League football for Southampton. Sir Zutman, he does... Two Champions League medals he does have in his locker. Here is the Schalke side. And I see a few players that I recognise. You know, we've got guys in the midfield. We've got Naldo. Howdez. Farman. Okay. Yeah, Johnson on the wing. Shakiri's at right wing for them. First Champions League game for Southampton. Let's put our stamp on it. And show that we're not here just to be knocked out. Come on. Here's Kostic down the wing. Swings a big ball to the back post and Target's completely lost himself and he's fallen over. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. There goes Bufal. Ref's given us an advantage for I don't know what. Here's Amiri. Amiri slides it for Tammy Abraham. And he got a shot in. Beautiful skill from Tammy Abraham. A ball. Amiri gets the rebound and sends it well over the bar. Ed. Big head from De Vries. Knocked back to Bufal. We're looking fast on the counter-attack today. Here's Gretzka. Back to Amiri. Hits the shot and straight at Farman. But we're looking dangerous. We're looking to pile a lot of shots onto this goalkeeper at the minute. Oh, a lovely pace from Chiesa. Flies past the Schalke fullback. And whips a ball in. And it's gone far to Bufal. Heavy touch. Can he get the shot away? And he does. Farman makes the save though. Good, solid goalkeeper. We've got a beat today. And the goalkeeper's confidence will be pretty built up. For the amount of saves that he's made. And that's a great tackle from Amiri. And he skips past Naldo. Far post. Here we go. Chase across the middle. Very foul scores. Great goal from Southampton. We've hit a lot of shots on target. And we finally managed to find the breakthrough. And it was an absolutely great effort from the front three. Great work from the wingers too. Amiri did so well here. Tammy Abraham lays it off. It's a great pass from Chiesa. And a stunning finish from Bufal to squeeze it in that tight corner with a lad diving at him. Great goal. Kostic. Kostic needs someone's closing down. He hits the shot and it does fly over. But I don't like the amount of space he got himself there. Oh, nice play from Gretzka. Gets it wide to Chiesa. Chiesa cuts it inside. And he's going to drive at Schalke now. And they don't know which way he's going to go. Hits the shot. Oh! Half-time whistle goes. Great run from Chiesa to end it. But we're looking sharp. I'm really impressed with how sharp Chiesa looks in Europe. Great tackle from Tammy Abraham. He does work hard, Tammy. Bufal gives it straight back to Tammy Abraham. And he cuts it back. Tammy looks for goal. He's hit it over. Good try, my son. Nagy just to punt it into the box here. See if we can get our head on it. To get another goal, we don't make it. Nike up to Gretzka. And here's Bufal. Hits it. It is a brace for Bufal. Great finish from the young man. He shushes the crowd. I don't know what he's got against these people. And the crowd boos as Southampton goes 2-0 up. And it's a really important goal. Nagy spreads it into Gretzka. Who finds Bufal. It's a really nice finish. Right, I'm going to get a tired Gretzka off. I'm going to try and have Gretzka for the Manchester City game. Hopefully, he'll be fit enough. Bufal can come off for Clivert and King can come on up front for a bit of pace now as we go to see this result out. Johnson throwing. Ball into the box. 
for the font as well with that Romeo heads into Amiri. Beautiful from Amiri. And here goes Cliver. Cliver is fresh. And he's going to race past everyone here. And across comes Naldo, but he's not quick enough. Cliver, all on his own, hits it. And it's, no, oh, it's gone wide. Ah, oh, Cliver, so close. There we go. Full-time whistle. A job well done away in Germany for the first Champions League game for Southampton. They've made a beautiful debut in this competition. Real Madrid did get that win against Benfica as expected at home. But with the goal difference, we will be top of our Champions League group as it stands. And also as it stands, we are top of the Premier League. I'm not here to be like Ranieri, you know, I'm not here to be like other managers who win the league and take their foot off the gas. We're going straight back to the top of the table. We've got a very strong group of players. There is no reason why we can't go on to try and, you know, get quarter semi-finals in the Champions League and win the league again. But we do have a big test now. The squad's tired. It's had a big game against Liverpool and it's had a big game on the road in the Champions League. Three games in a week for Southampton. Can we go on now and beat Manchester City at home? The last time Manchester City came to St Mary's was the day we were crowned champions and didn't get a title party, but we did lose to Manchester City. We went down to 10 men. It was a dodgy performance indeed, a very nervous one. Sanabria returns to the striking position with Tadic going at number 10. Bran and Cliver are on the wings with Gretzka and Romeu. The same defence is back with De Vrij and Cedric. A little bit tired from playing that Champions League football, but the stamina of Gretzka, 88 stamina. Cedric's got 89 stamina. De Vrij's got 69 stamina. He's struggling a little bit, fat twat. Manchester City currently 12th in the league. Only have four points after four games played, so not ideal for them. And they've drawn all four matches, so still looking for their first win. And I can tell you that things are not going to get any easier for them here, as we are the top scoring side in the Premier League. Manchester City, another one of those sides that come in with the five-back, and it's interesting from them. They've gone with Danilo at left-back, with Walker playing right-back, Mangala company Otamendi, and the brilliant Bravo is back in goal, with Denaya and De Bruyne, and Cavani joins this strike partnership with Aguero, so no Gabriel Jesus, and he did cause me all the problems last time, so I'm kind of glad not to see him. Let's get the result that we should have had at home last time. We did really well against Manchester City last season away, but a bit of loss at home. But we did win the league and they ruined my title party. So I want to beat them for that especially. And this is good skill from Clive early on. He's done really well. And he tackles company and we could score instantly. Oh, and Bravo has made a save. That's not realistic at all. And Clive attacking Walker now after Mangala. Oh, they can't deal with him. He's a little terrier. And it's a goal kick. Come on. Great interception from De Vrij, that is. And Sanabria goes round his man. Oh, tackle comes in. Oh, my God, Otamendi nearly took me out then. Hey, up, oh, ball down the wing. Walker's got there with his pace. Smashes it back into Cavani, into Aguero. And the great stuff from De Vrij again. He is looking good. He's finally settling in. Sir Zutman is very happy about that. Corner ball to Manchester City. It is De Bruyne stood over it. And it is headed away by Van Dijk. Sanabria is going to get there first too and manages to pull it back for Bran and he'll find it back to Sanabria to run at the Manchester City defence. Come on Sanabria, he's got the pace to go round Mangala, slots it in the corner, great solo run from Sanabria, won the ball from the corner at the halfway line and Mangala's legs has completely gone, look at him, he just can't get near him. Great pace from Sanabria, slots it in the corner, 1-0 Southampton. Cavani into Aguero and again there is Van Dijk and he blocks the second attempt. Excellent defending from De Vrij at the minute. It wasn't Van Dijk, sorry, I got confused. Big ping up to Danilo. Danilo looks to get it in behind to Aguero and Van Dijk, oh God, he's nutmegged him whilst he slide tackles. God knows how he's done that. Aguero cuts it back into the midfield to Dinaya and he's hit that well wide. Don't know what a centre half is doing playing in the Manchester City midfield. Excellent tackle from Romeu. And Gretzka's the first man on the scene. And it gets it in to Sanabria. Good stuff. This is lays it off for Tadic to hit it. Oh, what a goal from Southampton. It's a stunning effort from Tadic. But all in all, it was a great team goal for the way they worked the ball back. A manager's dream, that is. Gretzka gets it into Sanabria, moves it off to Tadic, hits the shot, flies into the corner. No chance for Bravo. 2-0 to Southampton, four goals in the Premier League for Tadic, he's got off to a flyer. Bertrand wide into Bran, beautiful little swift turn there into Sanabria, shifts it through and Tadic is here again, 3-0. Manchester City have been absolutely stunned by Southampton here, 
we're just coming to the hour mark and Southampton are just getting into their flow. The centre-halves today from City have just been nowhere. Oh my god, I've just passed it straight back to De Bruyne. Into Cavani. Into Aguero. I've not... Oh shit, I've fouled Aguero. Oh, and it's De Vries as well has just been so good today. Concedes the penalty. That's really frustrating. Aguero steps up. Come on, Lafont. Keep that clean sheet for us. I dare you. I dare you, Lafont. Oh, it's a great penalty from Aguero. Slots it in the corner. 3-1. Let's hold tight, lads. Here's Yaya Torre. Manchester City really coming at us now. They really believe they can get back in this game. And Aguero, I don't like it when he's in the box. And Lafont has to pull out a save. Aguero is so hard to get tight to and mark. Triple substitution going to get Lamina. The similar subs that we did at Liverpool just to keep the midfield tight. And they're going to go with Redmond to give him a rare game for him to play. And King up front, some counter-attack pace to come on. Corner ball goes in. Romeo needs to meet that. And the shot. And no. No way. Look at that, lads. 3-2 Manchester City with every chance of coming back into this game now. With only four points this season. And they're looking for another one. As Romeo misses that header. Silver with a snapshot finds the corner. Unbelievable. Nothing really that the lads could do after Romeo missed the header. Gretzka. Looks to send it in behind to King. Come on, King. Release the pressure for us and find a goal. Looks to slot it in and Bravo saves with his foot. Can Clivert get there? He can. Clivert knocks it back to Cedric. Oh, fuck off. What am I doing? Big tackle from Lamina. Get there, lads. Take Silver out. We've done it. Oh, God. What a horrible end to that game. 3-0 up. Absolutely cruising. And then two shot goals from Manchester City. And Pep Guardiola... Nearly got himself back in the game, but the lads held on some good defending in the last 20 minutes to keep us the three points. All right, let's celebrate our three victories today with our big training session where Tammy Ibrahim's finishing goes up to 80 and his attacking position up to 75. We face Chelsea in the Carabao Cup next episode, but we're going to end it here. All is well in the Southampton camp after this episode. Three huge wins. We're looking very steady at the top of the table in the Premier League. I'd like to advance in this competition, but it's going to be a big ask against Chelsea. really depends what team they put out. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, guys. Subscribe for more FIFA 18 career modes. I'm Zuman. Hope you guys have a great day.